Hi there. My name is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to use parentheses in equations. So here we have an equation y equals negative 3 over 4 x squared plus 1. And at first glance, it might not be immediately apparent what the correct order of operations is. So we want to use parentheses to try to make this somewhat less ambiguous. So in order to do that, we need to consider what relationship we're trying to convey between y and x. Let's say that what we want to have happen is we square x, multiply it by 4, add 1 to it, and all of that is the denominator under negative 3. Well, we could write that as negative 3 over parentheses 4x squared plus 1. One possibility. We'll write it again. Try to come up with other interpretations for it. Let's say that this time, what we know ahead of time is that negative 3 over 4 is a coefficient for x squared. That x squared is not in the denominator. Well, we can make that clear by simply putting parentheses around the coefficient to avoid implying that this division sign applies to the x squared. Easy enough. What are some other interpretations we might have? Let's say that what we are given in the problem implies that what we actually want to do is take negative 3 fourths x, square that, and then add 1 to it. Easy enough. We put parentheses around the entire term that we want to square. In fact, we can even make this less ambiguous by putting parentheses around this coefficient. Again, to avoid implying that x is going to be in the denominator. So whenever you're given an equation whose meaning is not quite clear, go back to the original problem and ask yourself what relationship between y and x is being described. Then just insert parentheses to make it less ambiguous. That's all there is to it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to use parentheses in equations.